Our first and ten game of the week features the Thomasville Tigers taking on the UMS Wright Bulldogs. This is a huge 4A Region 1 matchup. The winner historically goes on to the playoffs. Last year, UMS knocked off Thomasville up in Clark County en route to a state championship. This year, the Tigers look to return the favor here in Mobile. Fox 10's Hal Shurek is covering that game and joins us live from UMS with a preview of tonight's action. Hal, nice haircut. What you got for us? Hey, Russell, doing good. We're rocking over here at Irvin Cooper Stadium. They've got the music jamming. Fans are starting to show up. The Thomasville Tigers got here about 30 minutes ago. Did a walk through the field, checking the thing out. Field's in really great shape. We're looking at having a really good evening of football. The sun's kind of going down. The air's cooling off. We've got a cool breeze. Went up to talk to both the Thomasville Tigers this week, and we talked to UMS to get a flavor for what we can expect to see tonight. Let's take a look at what we found out. All week, Thomasville has been preparing for what will be one of the biggest games of the regular season. With 25 returning seniors, the Tigers have the experience of winning a state championship in 2010 and losing to tonight's foe, the UMS Wright Bulldogs. They know a loss to UMS will likely ruin their hopes for another run at the state championship. Last year, the Bulldogs went to Thomasville and came out on top 49-42. That loss has constantly been on the players' minds. This game we marked as one on one for payback, just like any other one that we lost last year. We just going to go out there, play hard as we can, do what we do. Last year we had a bunch of mental mistakes and we let them get ahead early. We can't do that this year. Jump on them quick. The Bulldogs only have 11 returning seniors, but one of those seniors is quarterback Gunnar Roach. Touted as one of the best quarterbacks in the state, Bulldogs head coach Terry Curtis will be depending on his leadership out on the field. Standout running back Troy Dixon is hurt and will likely only see limited action tonight, so more pressure will fall on the rest of the team. We're ready for a big ball game. We're ready to play someone like Tom Fuller in a game that does mean something, so uh, it's our kids will be looking forward to it. It's real important, especially especially for the younger kids. You know, they need somebody to follow and make sure they're doing the right thing. Make sure the seniors are help, there to help them. It's, uh, it's we only got 11 seniors. It's real hard for us. Just hopefully the younger kids can step up and do their part. Tigers head coach Jack Hankins is counting on his team's focus and leadership to bring home a victory. He says the game weighs no more and no less than any other game, and their approach in practice this week has been no different than any other week. We don't treat it any different. We don't talk about it any different. We still do the same scouting reports, the same film study, the same weightlifting routine. Uh, we just stay on routine, man, and it's just, it's just our next region game. It's the coach's job to look at this game as just the next game, but the fans and players know different. They know that if there's going to be a trip to the state championship game this year, they had better win this one first. Coach always tells us that the only team that can beat us is us, and we all believe that. We got a great, we got a great team out here, and uh, all we got to do is just follow the game plan, and it'll take care of itself. It's either us or Thomasville that goes on to the. Uh, win state championship usually and hopefully that'll be it again this year but uh you know this biggest region game for us this year probably and hopefully we'll win it well we'll have to keep an eye out to see how troy dixon's feeling no word yet on if he's going to start or how much he'll play we'll have to wait till game time to see that a couple players to watch out for on the thomasville Tigers side of the ball that's xavier matt running back he's really come a long way this year coach uh, hankins tells me and also Ian Rosby, wide receiver, says the, the kid can catch just about anything thrown his way. So it should be a real shootout tonight. We're anticipating a great game and a great crowd under really nice conditions. Reporting live from uh, UMS Wright at Urban Cooper Stadium, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.